Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to a new Destiny video. Now in today's video, I actually have a pretty old clip back from when Trials of Osiris was on Black Shield just a few weeks ago. Now this was probably one of the sweatiest games I've played in quite some time at that point. Now me and a couple of my friends, Dan and Juicy, me and these dudes run Trials almost every weekend now. And they actually commented on one of my videos to play and I've been playing with them quite often. They're pretty cool, pretty chill guys, but we have not gone flawless yet. But this is a highlight from back when we were playing, and we were in a game. It was 4-1. Now, we managed to bring this back for the win. I don't want to spoil anything, but we did end up winning the game. I do want to just highlight some things on this video. This was one of the craziest comebacks I had. And honestly, the end of this video is, should be quite entertaining for you guys because this comeback was just absolutely insane. And this was definitely the craziest comeback I have actually had to this date. So here we are. It is a 4-1 game. Now, I immediately just decide I'm going to play the objective at this point. They still went inside, but I wanted to play the objective, make sure that they weren't going to just play the point and end the game really quickly. Now, once they told me that there were guys inside, I made sure to get in there and help them as much as possible. One of them went down, and by this point, I just knew it was about to get really crazy. So he ended up using his super, getting a melee, and this round ended up going pretty well. All until this guy self res I ended up getting the headshot with the icebreaker, but it wasn't enough to finish him off. I ended up trading with him because he stuck me, and all in all, things went all right. I still had my super left, and I believe we still had one more super, one more slam from Juicy. So we were still pretty set. It was 4-2, and at this point, the entire time, I just wanted to keep playing the outside room. I knew that the only way for we, us to win was just to make sure that we had control of the point. Otherwise, the second they got control, there wasn't going to be anything we could do. Now, you see me running the icebreaker in this game. The only reason is because I actually ended up running out of ammo for my 1,000-yard stare, and I wasn't about to lose this game because I didn't have any special ammo. I know it's pretty sad to say that you can't win a game without special, but for this situation, it was absolutely crucial that I had special ammo. There was just no other way that we would have won this game. So just like last round, I told those two guys to go inside and make sure that they didn't know that I was coming out behind them. So I immediately got to the other side of the map as fast as I could, tried to throw them off and got completely behind them. Now I got really lucky because that guy figured out what I was doing, but I ended up getting the pick. It was pretty nice that we were able to play this res. Now this guy ended up getting the res because he knew that there was just, he needed to get him up. So immediately, I just I knew that th there was no other way for me to win. I just had to stay over here and try to get at least one more of them down. So here I am. I'm actually sitting in a pretty ridiculous head glitch there. There's actually this little spot where you can see through all the pipes. Now at this point, they called me back over there, but once I saw that Juicy had picked up the kill, I knew it was time for me to get into that inside room, get some special ammo picked up. Now I know I didn't actually get the ammo, but I picked it up just so that they couldn't. So here we go. I ended up rushing to the room. The only one of them was left. It was perfect. I ended up going for the res because I knew that we needed to get everybody up. And it was, at this point, it was just a 3v1, and we were destroying, we were all over this warlock. He was all over the place, though, and I ended up just smacking him down for the melee, and immediately rushing back for the special, just really out of habit. So I was going to switch to my 1,000-yard stair, and I managed to pop it over to the 1,000-yard stair just in time to see just if maybe I was able to pick up that special in time. Now, unfortunately, I wasn't able to pick it up, so I had to switch right back over to the icebreaker. There was just there was no other way we were going to win unless I was able to generate some ammo. So I switched right back over to 1,000-yard. Now this time, instead of just immediately going into the room to throw them off, I wanted to go down this tunnel so that it would come up on their radar, making it look like I was going that way, even though I wasn't. And then immediately, once he picked that snipe up, I knew it was time for us to play that res, so I went over into the middle. I was going to rush up behind them, but once he got the res, I knew it was time for me to play the mid. So once they got this res, I knew that this guy had an overshield, and I didn't want him to rush at me and stick me again, so immediately I back up. Now unfortunately, they both went down, so it was just me left. So immediately I drop back, I play the point. I'm, now from this spot, this is my favorite spot on Black Shield. Now, it's kind of cheap. You're in a little bit of a head glitch, I know. But this is the only spot on the map where you can actually cover the point and all three of the doorways so that they couldn't really make any moves on me. This is one of the best spots to stand on this map, especially in clutch situations, because there is literally no other way to see every single part on this map. So here, this guy pops his hammers. I pop my Storm Trance. There was, I blink out of his hammer. He hits me with one. I blink out of another one. Blink out of two. Then I almost get stuck, blink out of everything, like the ionic blink just really came in clutch here, and that is really one of the only reasons we ended up winning that round, it was just purely because of that storm trance, it was truly an incredible game. So here we are now, it's 4-4, four, four. it all comes down to this. So immediately I tell them both, alright guys, no more going inside, we gotta play this objective, all three of us, if we sit down the point, and I don't think they have any more supers left at this point, all we have to do is play right, I was assuming the other team was going to do the same, because a 4-4 four, four game... There's usually everyone just wants to play the objective and that's really the only thing there is to do on this map is just play that objective. Now they ended up going inside and I ended up getting right back in my clutch spot. This is definitely my favorite spot on this map. Anytime that we're in a sweaty situation, you will find me in this spot. There's really no other place I'll be. So here we go. This guy ended up coming down the mid. Now once they all realized, okay, wait a second, they're not inside anymore. 
So they immediately came down mid, tried to get a snipe. They thought we were going to rush them, but there was no way we were going to do that. We were strictly playing point th at this point. There was, n We were doing nothing but playing the objective. So I ended up getting that one snipe. Now, I ended up missing like eight of my snipes. And honestly, the snipe that just happened only happened because I was really just spam firing that doorway at that point. And I ended up picking up an extremely lucky headshot on somebody that was invisible. So immediately I had him pick up my Juicy back up, make sure oh, everybody was up. Now at this point, it's back to a 3v3. They got the res as well. And at this point, there was only 60 seconds left. So I knew that we were pretty much set. We just stay at this point. We guard the objectives, watch all three doorways, and we should be all right because they pretty much got themselves stuck in a really bad situation. And they have absolutely no control at this point. They have to make a move on us. So here they come down the middle. Now I'm just sitting here waiting for one of them to push out. I know that I'm not going to be able to get a snipe at this point. Too many of them were rushing me, so I wanted to make sure I had my Hawksaw out and to do as much damage as possible. Now once I got that guy hurt, I thought I would be able to just really quickly body shot him. But once I realized that that Icebreaker wasn't going to do enough damage, I had to switch back over the Hawksaw and just kind of start spraying down that hallway until eventually I ended up clipping that guy and t finishing him off. Now here is where things get extremely crazy. I go down... And Dan ends up getting going in for a shoulder charge, but not able to get it to connect. Now he ends up picking up my res, except one guy actually ended up self-resing, and he immediately went to get all of his teammates up, and there really wasn't anything we could do about it. I just, he tried to get a slam off. Somehow this guy was not killed, but I was it was alright because I was able to get a quick, quick scope on that guy to finish him off, and it was totally fine. So the objective spawns in. I wanted to make sure that they didn't start capping it, and immediately I rush in. I get him with two quick bursts with the Hawksaw and finish him off with the melee because I knew there was no other way I was going to kill him, especially with his teammate right on my back. So I get them, him with the melee. My health is unbelievably low at this point. Now I jump back knowing that his teammate's going to want to try to go after this objective and try to just get that res as well. So I jump back, pull out my icebreaker and wait for him to rush in on me. Pick up the pick with my icebreaker. I wanted to get the headshot, but I ended up getting a body shot instead. Switching right back over to my icebreaker as fast as I can and just putting two bursts in him to shut him down. So there it is guys. What an incredible comeback. Big shout out to Juicy and Dan. Hopefully you guys are watching this. We definitely will be going flawless someday, guys. Definitely don't worry about that. We will take you to the lighthouse. But other than that, guys, hopefully you enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.